Hi, this is Dale O'Shields, pastor of Church of the Redeemer. Thanks so much for joining me for our devotional time today. I hope that you're enjoying these devotions and sharing them with other people. I want to talk to you today about what it means to think the right way about yourself. You know, so often we do think about ourselves, either consciously or unconsciously. There's this self-talk that goes on inside of us all the time, oftentimes directed to ourselves, what we're thinking about ourselves. And when our thoughts about ourselves are faulty, then oftentimes our behavior, our attitudes will be faulty. We'll battle all kinds of things like insecurity and fear and worry and a variety of things because our thought processes related to ourselves are wrong. I want to remind you today of what God thinks of you because the best way for you to think about yourself is to think about yourself as God thinks of you, to know what God says about you and how he thinks about you and then to embrace that in your own life. Here are some things to remember. First of all, remember that you were created by God, that God created you. He formed and fashioned you uniquely, and he created you with a purpose, with a plan. You're not an accident, that God designed something for your life, that he has a purpose, a plan, a, a will for you. We must also understand that you're lavishly loved by God, that God loves you with a love beyond anything that you can imagine. He's demonstrated this love to us through his son, Jesus Christ, dying on the cross for us, rising from the grave so that we could have a relationship, a personal relationship with God. We have to remember that as God's child, you're God's child if you have faith in Christ. And know this, God will never leave you. He's never going to desert you. He's always going to provide for you. You can be confident and secure in your relationship with him. The Apostle John reminds us of the kind of love that God has for us in 1 John chapter 3, verse number 1. Let me read you this verse and leave it with you today. I hope you'll think about this verse throughout your day. 1 John 3, verse 1, look with wonder at the depth of the Father's marvelous love that he has lavished on us. He has called us and made us his very own beloved children. God has lavished his love on you. Think about yourself from God's perspective. Believe what God says about you. Believe that he has love for you. Know that you are in his hands.